to Bavaria. I'm joined by Markus Feldenkirchen, excuse me, a reporter with the German Germany's Der Spiegel magazine. All right, please give us the view from, from the ground there. I mean, what Angela Merkel took a gamble in 2015. Is, the, is she going to pay for this right now? Yes, I mean, even the possibility that the party could drop down to 33%, as you mentioned, would have been considered a miracle only a year ago. Uh, what, is, what is the reason for the decline? First of all, there are the CSU is in a way uh, a victim of their own success. They modernized Bavaria extremely, they fostered economic growth, and the country became more and more attractive to citizens from all over Germany who moved there. And uh, by that somehow transformed the mindset of the Bavarian population, making Bavaria less traditional uh, country than it was for all the past decades. And secondly, you're right, the party lost an enormous amount of trust due to its confusing policies when it comes to migration. They criticized Chancellor Angela Merkel harshly for her more liberal stand on refugees, calling for rejection of further refugees and a much stricter border control. Uh, and by that, they raised expectations uh, and fa failed to fulfill their promises because in the end, they always lost to Angela Merkel. All right. You know, when you've been talking to a lot of the voters, I mean, are they going to, specific, to the left or to the Greens or to the AFD based on ideology or just we just don't want to, stay to the, stick to the mainstream anymore? What is driving them to go either way? Well, they, first of all, they lost trust in the capability of the CSU to solve the problems, and they are driven by ideology. You're right. Um, um, the, the former voters uh, who are not happy about the, their um, policies on refugees, they turn to the AFD and on the, uh, on the other side, um, many Christian voters um, flip over to uh, the Green Party recently. All right. Thank you very much for bringing us uh, that view from Bavaria. Markus Feldenkirchen, a reporter with Germany's Der Spiegel magazine. Thank